Hey friends, I'm Fisherman Haunts and we are going to learn how to estimate angles today. First, it's helpful to know our benchmark angles. These angles measure 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, and 180 degrees. Knowing what these angles look like helps us estimate the size of other angles. Remember, a 180 degree angle is just a straight line, and a 90 degree angle looks like a corner in a square. 45 degrees is half of 90 degrees, so you can always remember that 45 degrees looks like half of a corner. It's also helpful to remember acute angles, right angles, and obtuse angles. Acute angles are our little angles that measure less than 90 degrees. Right angles measure exactly 90 degrees, and obtuse angles are larger than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. I'll keep these angles up here to reference as we go along. Here is our first angle. Right away, I can tell it is an acute angle. It is smaller than a right angle. Let's compare to our 60 degree benchmark and our 30 degree benchmark. It looks more like a 30 degree angle, and might even be a little smaller. I'd say this angle is about 25 degrees. Let's try another one. I can tell right away this angle is obtuse, which means it must be more than 90 degrees. If we extended this angle out on the other side to make a straight line, I would say this would be about 45 degrees. 180 degrees minus 45 degrees is 135 degrees. This angle is about 135 degrees. That's all for today friends. Remember what your benchmark fractions look like to help you estimate angle measurements. Knowing your acute, right, obtuse, and straight angles will also help you as you continue to learn in math. Have fun!